What up, everybody? We're live. Smoking my Chris Morgan Timberwolf. This is a blackjack pipe from Chris Morgan. Very cool. Got a nice rustication on it. So it's actually a combination of two different styles of pipes, two different shapes. It has a bulldog shape here with a pencil shank, or not a pencil shank, a diamond shank, but it's also a long shank, so like kind of like a, like a Canadian. So it's, uh, it's kind of like two combined. Very cool. Mm-hmm. And I'm smoking my own blend here from Leaf Only. They sent me some tobacco and I cut it all up and I made my own blend. It has Canadian tobacco, you know, Canadian uh, Virginia tobacco, uh, American Virginia tobacco, and it has Latakia, it's got Perique, it's, it has, I think that's it. So here it is, so it's, this is just a sample just to see how it tastes, you know? Mmm. We got one person. What's up, one person? Oh, maybe you're not watching. I don't know. Mm hmm. I'm just surprised how easy this thing is. You, you blend your own tobacco, uh, you can add any toppings or flavorings. Yeah, it's been around. Ramon, hey, what's up? Yeah, so it's um, super easy. You get your own leaves. There's no additives. There's no toppings or casings. You can blend how much you want, and you can cut it the way you like. If you like it coarse, you can do coarse. If you like, you know, like a really fine uh, cut, like a shag cut, you can do that. So I cut some of it thick and some of it thin. But you can make uh, flakes or cakes or uh, you could do, um, you know, what do they do? Uh, what, are the, what am I thinking of, like a rope? You could do that. Mm-hmm. We got two people watching. Oh, there's super chat. What's super chat? Hmm. What the heck? Bubbles? Don't want bubbles. Ain't no bubble from me. Look at this nasty beard. Ew. Very pube. Puby. Pubescent. Gotta keep it. There we go. Mm -hmm. Who else is watching? We got, hey, we got a thumbs up. Give me some, give me two more thumbs up here. Oh, we got four people. What's up? Yeah, I'm just smoking my own, my own blend here from Leaf Only. If you're just joining, it's uh, two different types of Virginia tobaccos, St. James Perique and Latakia. Really, really good. I think it needs a little bit more Virginia or maybe a little bit more Perique. I can't tell, so I'm just testing it out. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing? Tastes really good. Again, the best part about this is there's no weird additives, there's no toppings, there's no preservatives. It's just raw, natural tobacco, and you can do whatever you want with it. You can, I mean, you can make casing, you know, you can make a, uh, a cake, you know, you can make flakes, 
You could do like the cool, you could roll it up like a cigar, make a rope out of it, um, or a plug, whatever you want. Mmm. I got four people and four thumbs up. That's a good thing, right? That means that means you guys are actually that means you guys care, right? Yeah, so I've been testing out my new GoPro Hero 5 Black. Now the, the cool thing about this is it's basically indestructible. It's waterproof, shockproof, idiot proof. You know, I could just click a button and it'll start recording. You know. So it's it's super easy. You know, I can get really close to it. I can get super close to it and it's um you know it doesn't really it doesn't need to focus. It does it just you just kind of point it at you, you know. But the problem is the audio sucks and I had to mill out like the audio parts. See that's that little dot is a microphone. I had to dremel that out. I had to mill out that microphone. You can see the little dot in there. So I had to dremel that out. And then this microphone is already good to go. But I mean come on GoPro, like I mean that's just simple, you know, like they have all the software and hardware. They make the thing freaking indestructible, but they but the case it comes with, I mean, it just blocks all the microphones. So it kind of sounded like I was underwater when I wasn't, you know. Um, and it's really cool. I mean, the, the microphones have like this membrane. And uh, so they clear water out of them themselves. So, I mean, that's really, really smart technology. It's just, but they can't, you know, the plastic is covering it. So it doesn't really matter. So... So GoPro, I mean, I think they're going to have to get their stuff together. And the low light setting really sucks. Like, like right now it looks really, really light right now in my iPhone camera. But this would look really, really dark. And in post, I would have to boost up the ISO or the exposure. And it would look really, really grainy. Um, so, you know, for a sensor that big, you would think... It would look really really good but it doesn't I mean in a lot of cases this iPhone looks better but this is more you know stable and durable and so it's kind of a trade-off you know what I mean anyway that's my rant for the day I guess you just can't have everything you know I was hoping that the GoPro would just completely replace my iPhone but I think this is just gonna be just for like action shots um, and I'm getting a I'm getting a drone soon too, so that will be like great for more cinematic like aerial views, you know. Um, so, but honestly, the iPhone camera is really really good. You just you know I think what it is is you just need to know how to use it. So that's basically it. You just gotta know you have to know your gear. You have to know you know like I have some guitars and some pedals that kind of suck, but I know that gear really really well. I know all the nuances and weird tricks, and so this, you know, this will take a while to get to get it the way I like it, you know, mess with the the settings on it, and but it's still cool. I can just see that takes a long time to boot up too. I know it takes like five seconds, but it's kind of nice that you have a screen on there. So I mean, look, I can get this, I can get this close to me, and it looks good. So I like that, but I just, I mean, I don't know, I, I had some SD card issues before and all kinds of stuff was happening. So, so yeah, basically if you're gonna get a GoPro, make sure you, you know, you're not just replacing your camera, you are, um, you know, you just know its limitations, okay? And I got let's see here. Woo! Ants are biting me. Jeez, lots of ants. So I got this little floatable, it's like a floatable handle. And so you can go in water and you know if you drop your phone, if you drop your GoPro, it'll float. Problem is it doesn't keep it steady. I, I guess I'll just have to show you because 
It's so cheap, it's so stupid. I'm gonna have to, let me just show you. Okay, so taking this little part here. Okay. So you take off that quarter inch adapter. So let's say we're gonna mount it on here, right? Super cheap, by the way, it feels cheap. I mean, it was a cheap accessories kit. It was like 25 bucks for a ton of accessories. So I crank it really tight, right? Oh, it's working now. Before it was flopping everywhere and it was making a lot of noise. So now it works, I guess, somehow. Eh, I guess it's working. So this would be like my, you know, lake house kind of a thing. And if it drops, no big deal, it's gonna float. So, but a second ago this wasn't working. It was, it wasn't tightening up, so. So this is good. So if you see me jet skiing or anything, or whatever, on a boat, I'm probably using this setup right here. But here's a tip I've noticed. If you're like walking a lot, you should go upside down with your GoPro because the weight is gonna stabilize it better than if you hold it up like this. So you might wanna hold it down for a lot of shots actually. That might be a lot better. We got, oh, we got four people watching. I found one. <laughs> we got, oh, we got six people watching. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this beard. I think I got a... I think, ew, ew. I think I need to like um, trim the sides and taper it so that this part's long. Cause right now I'm freaking Jedediah. Freaking churning butter. Honest Abe here. So I gotta, I gotta figure that out. And the sucky part is I have to drink my beer out of plastic at the pool. I guess it's a rule and some guard was yelling at me the other day. It's pretty good though, it's a double bock. Mm. Oh, seven people, what's up? Yeah, so I'm debating whether or not I should change my name because, you know, I don't really just do cigar reviews. So a lot of people are like kind of mad about that. So I, I do pizza and I do mattress reviews and I do coffee reviews. And sometimes I just do videos. It doesn't have to be a review. So I'm wondering if I should just change my name to just kind of please everybody, you know? People who want me to review their coffee or their mattresses, they don't want the word cigar in there. And my cigar fans, they don't want just to see coffee and mattress reviews, you know, 70% of the time. So I had this kind of like weird, you know, it's just, it kind of sucks because I have to choose like my weird identity, my name. Maybe I should do multiple channels, but that's like a lot of work, you know. I already have like 4,000 subscribers, so. So I'm kind of stuck. What would you guys do? If you guys can give me any good name ideas, I will take them. <laughs> so, if you guys give me any good any good name ideas, let me know. And I think if if I choose one of your name ideas, I will give you I don't know, like like a five pack of cigars or, or whatever you want. I got a ton of cool stuff. Pipes and cigars and we'll figure that out because I just hit 4,000 subscribers. So maybe I should just do a giveaway to the person who comes up with the best name for my channel. That might be a good, you know, that's kind of, that's actually a pretty good idea. I mean, Honest Cigar Reviews is good, but 
it's just, I don't wanna just, just do cigar reviews and make those people angry if I do other things, so. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Give me some ideas right now. Hurry up, honey. There you go. Mm -hmm. I want a book in my room. Where did Bubba go? Where did your dog go? Huh? Well, how do I get through? Sorry. No, you're good. You came to the pool. You could swim. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. No, you're good. Wait, are you going to put this in YouTube? Oh, I'm so sorry to do it. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> You know, uh, this is really weird. As soon as I got a GoPro, like, I'm not even kidding. Every time, every time I use it, people are like, are you on YouTube? Are you famous? Or can I be in your video? Can I get a shout out? I mean, this little, this little thing right here, so many people have been more interested in this little thing than my phone. And, you know, I've been doing this for like seven years, but as soon as I start using this, that's when, like, I don't know, it just seems like I get like a lot more attention or something, so kind of weird. But I mean, it, it, you know, this is kind of weird looking, so maybe that's why people have questions, I don't know. But I mean, I would, I would ask questions about this if I saw it. Yeah. You guys have any questions right now? If I, if I, seriously, if I get a cool name, from one of you guys, there will be a hefty gift, okay? <laughs> Maybe like James Reviews or Honest Man Reviews or I don't know, something like that. What do you think? The problem is cigars don't make money because YouTube just hates tobacco, YouTube hates alcohol, YouTube hates firearms. I mean, basically anything fun they classify as adults and they don't really monetize those things. Advertisers don't want to associate with tobacco, with firearms, with, with any of that. So, so mattresses and coffee and pizza, those are the money makers. And you know, I do, I love doing cigars and pipes and alcohol and random videos. I mean, that's my passion, but at the same time, all this work, you know, you want to, you want to get compensated for it, you know, and you don't want to, I don't want to create a Patreon account. I mean, maybe I do, but that just seems kind of weird. So maybe, hey, so maybe, um, like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about just changing my name and just, you know, making the people happy who are still fans and also making the people happy who are, um, you know, who aren't cigar people. So what do you guys think? No, wait, Ray just texted me. What up, Ray? Ray? Ray just texted me. He says people are commenting, but I can't see those comments. Maybe it's because... Oh, okay, I turned it to Super Chat. Okay, all right. Oh, man, there's a lot. Okay, I've got work to do. What's up? Okay, I just realized this was live. You swimming? LOL. No, I'm not swimming, but I should swim. Oh, have a good one. What do you do for work? That, you know, stuff and things. Um, he like, he spent a long time hiding that. So maybe I'll just leave that a mystery. Um, but nobody believes me what I do for a living. Um, dude, Raymond, yeah. Um, we need a, uh, so apparently Raymond, he's the guy that, did, that uh, invited me to the Torch Cigar Bar. Apparently he has a killer collection of cigars, so we're going to do a video of that. So keep texting me, Ray. I'll get back to you. You're such a rebel. <laughs> I don't know if he can see our comments. Okay, no. Yeah, I can see him now. Apparently if you push the super, the super chat, the regular comments go away. Hello, what's up? So Michael, what's the blend? 
The blend is from Leaf Only. I made it. It's um, Yellow Virginia's from Canada, Red Virginia's from, from, from Virginia, uh, St. James Perique, and Latakia. And they're all basically equal. I just have a little bit less Latakia and, and just a little bit, like even fewer Perique. But it's really, really good. It's actually quite sweet, naturally sweet, no casing, no artificial, uh, you know, propylene glycol, no, none of that. Yeah, so probably just do multiple channels and refer people to the other channels. So that's the thing, like, I could just do multiple channels and that'd be great. But I, here's the, here's the thing, I, already, I have 4,000 subscribers, it takes a long time to get a good base. So, I don't know if I want to start over. I don't know, but it might be worth it, just multiple channels. Yeah, I can see your comments now. Yeah, Pete, um, Pete texted, well actually no, Raymond texted me. So wait a minute, I think Raymond and, Raymond and Pete actually know what I do for a living. So, I will leave that in, in their hands. That is, that is my gift to them. <laughs> Yeah, well, I can see you now, so I can I can read comments. Yeah, so two channels or just one different name, like just I don't know, just like one name. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think I'm out. Almost out. I've noticed that with this leaf only tobacco. It smokes faster because there's no preservatives or additives or toppings that can, um, you know, sometimes those, those slow the smoke down, they, they slow the burning down. This actually burns, I think, faster than most. Man, it smokes perfectly. I mean, I didn't, I didn't even cut it perfectly. It's all kind of choppy. But it still looks, I mean, it really look. I mean, it, it, it burns evenly, so I don't even know if it matters how even the ribbon cut is, you know? All right, any more comments? <laughs> All right, test me. Test me right now to see. I think I'm on, I'm not on Wi-Fi, so the comments, I think it'll be slower. Oh, we got comments, okay. Raymond says keep it like that because it's, you know, it's nice to see actual useful things in life for most people. Tobacco, coffee, household things. Um, totally agree. But a lot of people don't like that. They're like, it says honest cigar reviews. You do like a cigar once a week. Why, you know, I mean, so it makes it makes some people really mad. Let me see if I can. Can I fix this thing? There we go. Much better. I'm digging this live feature because it's really, really dark right now and it still looks really, really good. So I'm actually, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, so, so these live things are awesome because I don't need to edit. I can just go right to YouTube, right to you guys and I can ask you questions, get feedback. And so, you know, I would recommend pushing that, um, there's a bell that like notifies you. Um, I would recommend pushing that because, oh man, there's ants all over me. <laughs> Ouch. Um, so I'd recommend pushing the little bell button on, on, on me because if you, if you see me live, I'm, I'm gonna start doing special things live. Like I wanna start doing impromptu things and, um, you know just special news and, and things like that so I would push the notification bell because you know yeah Raymond dude okay so Raymond here's the deal we'll do a video of of your awesome cigar collection and I'll give you like I don't know like a half a pound of, of 
roasted beans. Or you could roast your own if you want, I can teach you. I can, I can bring the roaster to your home and show you how easy it is. Um, I think you'll like it because, I mean, I, I enjoy it. I, I give, you know, I give them as presents and um, yeah. So let me know, brother, what you want. Well, I'll hook you up. Yeah, dude, you know my last name. Um, um, most people, well, I don't know. Well, my humidor has my last name, so I guess it's not that secretive. Um, yeah, so my last name is Patton, so I think I know where you're going with this. A lot of people say, you know, General Patton, so maybe, maybe you're thinking of General Patton of some kind. The General, the General Patton, I don't know. Is that what you're thinking there, Pete? I'm almost out, man. Well, I got more, so I don't know why I'm worrying. Patton's Practical Reviews. Dude, I think I like that, okay. Patton's Practical Reviews. The only problem with that is if I told someone Patton's practical reviews, they might they might not know how to spell Patton, and they might spell it I N. Um, if I did it like an acronym, P P R, it's not bad, I guess. It's better than H R C. Well, H R C is all right, I guess. P P P R. Yeah, PPR. Patton's Practical Reviews. It's kind of a tongue twister. What blend? Oh, dude, my blend is great. You know, your Boswell? Um, so Raymond hooked me up with some Boswell tobacco. I've tried the Northwoods he sent me. That's pretty darn good. Um, it's pretty bold. This is kind of... The best way to describe this... It has that sort of ketchupy smell. And... It's really good, like, this is kind of like the Boswell's, just more, I don't know, more clean, I guess. I don't know what the word is, more cr more crisp. You know, a lot of those tobaccos are aged. They're aged in, um, they, they're cased in propylene glycol, and they're covered in casings um, to make them smoother. This is kind of like that. This is just a little bit rougher, a little bit more raw flavor, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense. It's not like it's unsmooth, it's just more bold. Um, so it's going really, really well, and a leaf only. They uh, they sell pipe tobaccos. They sell a lot of Kia, Perique, uh, two or three different types of Virginias. Um, they sell fired cured tobacco. So, you know, what I might do is I might take some of this stuff. I might put that, um, wrap it in some fire cured. You know, if I get fire cured tobacco, I could wrap it in like like a rope, and when I'm ready, just cut off whatever I want and I'll have a little bit of that fire cured flavor um, you know so but I'm telling you what like I, I smoked I smoked just the Virginia I smoked just the the um, well I didn't smoke it but I smelled it but just the Virginia alone was really really good um, so I mean it's it's so different it's it's really incredible dude like and I think it'd be cheaper um, you can buy it in uh, 0.125 pounds. Um, so if you buy like five or six different types of blending tobaccos, you know, it's going to come in whole leaves, but you can do whatever you want. You can make cakes, plugs, rolls, uh, crumble cake, what, I mean, whatever you want. It's super cool. Um, and, uh, it, you know, it's just, it's fresh. It's not really touched at all. So that's why I'd recommend that. Um, yeah, maybe, should I have more? I can't, it's kind of dark already. Well, you can see me all right. But yeah, I mean, like, like this is an FDA killer. I mean, the FDA, they're gonna make it harder and harder for tobacco companies to, pr you know, produce products. Um, and this is not considered a tobacco product. This is considered 
by the FDA as a commodity, you know, uh, an agricultural tool, because tobacco in holy form is actually not taxed um, like tobacco. It's, it's not taxed at all, it's tax-free. You can read all about this on Leaf Only's website. So because it's tax-free, uh, you know, a lot of farmers use tobacco as a natural pesticide because bugs do not like nicotine. So what they'll do is they'll, t farmers will buy tobacco, um, you know, low, low grade, not smokable tobacco, and they'll put it in water and they'll steep it like a tea, and they'll spray it all over the place. And it has no effect on plants, but bugs just kind of, it's a natural pesticide. They don't like it. So, so that's why whole leaf tobacco isn't, from my understanding, isn't taxed like cigarettes or cigars or anything like that. Um, so it's kind of like a loophole. So I, I would recommend it, you know. And plus, you can really experiment for really, really cheap. What is hey. See what? What is that? Oh, it's just my tobacco blend. Oh, it's tobacco? Yeah, my, my pipe blend. Pipe tobacco. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, not too bad. A little different, not cigars. Like yeah, normally I smoke cigars, but I've been starting to enjoy pipes. But it has a different flavor. Yeah, it's kind of like a, like a spicy like cigarette. A sweeter, taste. sweeter, yep. Sweeter and spicier. <laughs> yep. I got ants on my feet. Ouch. Yeah, there's there's like a little line of ants that just right down I have there. Found scorpions in my bed. I got stung by them. Here? Yeah. There's scorpions here? Yeah, I got stung in the arm. And Does it I'm hurt? Sleeping. Oh yeah, it hurts. Really? I've I've seen a scorpion, but I've never seen one there's like. Thirty of them in, in in your apartment? Yeah, over that one. They're always coming in. What? Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Dude, I'd like I would freak out if I saw a scorpion inside. Yeah, I got I killed most of them, but there's one that got in my shoe and I put the shoe on one of my shoes. So for like three days straight. Do you have to check your shoe like every time? You, you should, but it's not really that bad. No? Like if you go camping it should be really to check your shoe. Dude, I'd be so freaked out, like my wife like she wouldn't be able to sleep if she saw a scorpion in her bed. I just don't tell her about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I heard you can tell the people to uh, spray. Yeah, you can get it every Thursday. Oh, yeah? Is that what you did? Uh, it reduces the amount, but it's still fun. Yeah. I've, I've only seen, like, one. We had one in our light fixture. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is that what you had one? We had more, a lot of them, though. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like a nest? Like, uh, no, we found them over different occasions, but most of the time. Yeah. But most of them are tiny. They're like, they're like this big. Yeah. Like, I thought they'd There's be big. like that big over there, Dad. Over there? Yeah. Really? I saw a cockroach about, about that big. It's because the sprinklers, it was a desert here, and then... They put the sprinklers here so it became an ideal environment for all of the food that the bugs that the scorpions eat. Yeah. So it's an ideal environment for scorpions to be in. It seems to be a desert. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Well, it's looking kind of dark, so I'll turn this off. See you guys. Oh, you're on a. Uh